Hello everyone, and welcome Maybe back to Kitty Power's Love Life, we're right off the bat. Of course we've got a message, it's from Amy. Alright, the problem with the amount of intimacy has been fixed without an affair. How wonderful is that? So great. Even though we need to, you know, find an affair and fix it. Hello there, coin. How you doing there today? Oh, I just saw the cat jump away. Um, so, another job at the fair. Who even likes the fair? It's like edgy and hipster, right? Yeah, edgy and hipster. So, not hippie. Because we've got someone, Sabrina, who's complaining about her job. Or at least didn't seem super happy with her job, but she's hippie, so. If something opened up at the organic farm, it'd be perfect for her. So we just need to wait for something there to open up. And then hopefully everything will be great. She's at the cemetery right now. Could you spare a couple of minutes of your valuable time? My name's Libby. I'm the head grave digger here at the cemetery. You've been selected to take part in our customer survey. I'm going to ask you a few simple questions. All we ask is that you provide honest feedback. Of course, I'm always honest. Great. Just write down your answers. I'll give you an envelope to put each one in. What do you think of the hygiene here at the cemetery? Choose the good feedback. <laughs> Alright, what do you think of the facilities uh. provided by the cemetery? Mm. These are strange questions about a cemetery, in my personal opinion. Okay, the staff is fine, I guess. But, like, unless you know someone who's buried there, you've probably not worked with the staff. Uh. Like, even if you do, it's probably, like, very limited. But I don't know. What do I know about cemeteries? <laughs> Alright, let's open the first envelope see what you put in. You wrote... The cemetery is very clean. There are no issues with hygiene. It's a sweet thing to say. The facilities at the cemetery are second to none. What a sweet thing to say. You lovely, kind customer, you. She said that now twice a little repetitive. But hey, we got 10 coins. The staff at the cemetery are always extremely helpful and friendly. That's a good one. That can go straight on the website. What lovely feedback. We can definitely use that in our promotional material. It's good to know that the work we do here is appreciated. It's quite alright, Lily. I'm just giving my honest opinion. Alright, you happen to be the 100th person to take the survey today. As such, you win the special free gift. Here you are. I think we have everything from the cemetery, but hey. You know, it's good for our edgy types. Today just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> Alright, wasn't expecting the winning gift. You should keep hold of it, though. You can better put it to better use. I wouldn't want to give away my free gift. I'd be like, this is my gift. It's mine. Exactly like that. That's how I would say it. I have a message. It's from Sabrina. She wants to get engaged. I had a feeling this was coming because, you know, good mood and all that. Imagine if that's how, um... Oh, we've got our first repression. Imagine if that's how getting engaged was. Like, just, oh, I'm in a really, really good mood. Time to get engaged. Oh, I saw a VIP. I saw a VIP. The auditorium needs another alternative music star, apparently. They really need this one filled. Okay, hold up. Who are we even doing this for? Is it Timmy? Yes. So let's schedule him at the salon. Of course, we can't even do it today. But we're going to do it tomorrow, and then Choose we're going to schedule him tomorrow for after the salon for this interview. We're going we're gonna to edify him. All right, Sabrina and Timmy are going to try and become friends in the cemetery right now, though. Oh, Timmy, you're going you're gonna to make it, and it's all going to be good. Thanks for reading tarot cards with me. What'd you think of it? He hated it every second. Timmy, why can't you just like what other people like? You know what I think would be kind of interesting is if they had an, um, an activity just like reading your horoscope and then it just depended on whether or not the other person also liked reading horoscopes. It'd be kind of an interesting way to get like people of different types that otherwise didn't have a lot in common to be friends. 
That'd be kind of cool. Just an idea, though. All right, well, that didn't work out, but it's okay. They kept it friendly. Everything's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, everyone just came home. Um, people don't seem to be in good moods. So who's our other married person? It's Amy. I haven't seen her complain about the... Uh, the inner type yet. But Timmy... Timmy needs to come out and 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 share his personal self with the world. <laughs> All right, summoning spirit hmm. guides. What'd you think of it? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Today's the day of failed friendships. To so situation. glad. That's what every matchmaker wants, right? Failed friendships. All right, we can do this. It's all going to be okay. Really? Are we just going to keep like going around that one? There are like three times it nearly went straight down the middle. Really? Really? This is getting a little redonkulous. Thank you. I mean, we haven't hit enough things even to get our jackpot, but still, we just went around it so many times. All right, it isn't for everyone. It's okay. Oh well, better luck next time. We'll just need to get him to actually meet the other hippie types in town. Brad, of course you have something on your mind. Your partner wants to get engaged. You have something on your mind. And it isn't that. Such is life, it always seems to go that way. Okay, so let's... Let's anything else, you, because I saw you complaining. And I'd rather deal with it now. Alright, inner already nature. I didn't even mean to do that, but luckily we can just fix this. Alright, inner already nature? Well, that's easy. Benedict is your friend. You're gonna come out to Benedict. And then we're going to bring you back in tomorrow, I guess, and try and set you up with arty-ish people, and by that I mean hippie-ish people, because that's who you know. <laughs> but that's okay. Maybe we can get some friendships going. We're going to invite Timmy back in for tomorrow. Um, he's already scheduled... Oh, we could actually do it today, even. So let's do that before I forget why. All right, Kimberly needs to have more friends. So I don't remember. What do you like? We're trying draughts with somebody, I, I thought. So we'll see if that works out. All right, buying lottery tickets. What do you think? Nope. Today really is the day of failed friendships. Whatever day today is in the game, it is the it is uh, failed friendships day. It's a new Kitty Powers holiday. We're gonna observe it every year. Today is the first annual failed friendships day. But hopefully it's not the first annual Make Enemies Day. We can fail all the friendships and still not have any enemies, and that would definitely be the preferable way to do it. So let's try for that. Alright, we've got two messages. One from Kimberly, wants to have a chat. We'll actually bring you in tomorrow, I think. And one from Valeria, who also wants to have a chat. We'll bring her in today. You have a better schedule than your partner does. Brad, I think we've got Brad coming in. Probably a problem with friends, because, like, Choose a what else would it be? <laughs> so let's look at his kitty feed and figure out what exactly is going on. Pick a problem. <laughs> Just doesn't know how to put it. Oh, you need more intimate time? 
<laughs> Do we want to make these guys try and have an affair? Do we want to try? I don't want them to break up. That's the problem. I never want anybody to break up. And so... Wow, you guys don't have very good schedule, so I guess we're, you're just not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> oh boy, I mean, you don't even have any friends right now, so it's not like you even can um, have an affair. Let's see, do you like chanting? You hipster type, you. Alright, and we've also got environmentalists. I don't know if environmentalism is a chic thing, but let's see if it is. Because we got people who need friends. So we have to push it out to Saturday, but that's not so bad. That's all we need for now. And we've got our hipster in here with a problem as well. So what's up with you, girl? Um, the food. <laughs> All right, that's it. I like it when it's like the first thing. We'll speak to Kimberly about it. Clearly not today, though. We'll do it tomorrow, and we'll get all of this sorted out, okay? Everything's gonna be great. Do you need to spend time with friends? You have a lot of potential friends. Do you have any potential openings? The didgeridoo. Who would even like the didgeridoo? Maybe Brad would like the didgeridoo. Didgeridoo is a fun thing to say. You should try it out if you haven't ever said didgeridoo. Just, just let's all do it right now. Didgeridoo. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Wow, two things at once. Kimberly and Nyla are going to try and become friends. Hopefully that can work. Really, Kimberly, you need more friends? You must be a VIP. I think VIPs need three friends. Um, yay, she liked it! Of course, that was your problem. We probably got you coming in soon. We're gonna be like, why did we bring you in? She still needs more friends. So Nyla needs at least one more friend. But at least we're started on it. That's something. Josephine and somebody else, I didn't see who it was. Are trying to become friends but that's good benedict he liked it yay maybe today isn't the day of failed friendships because like now it now it's looking better yay serving up friendly realness since 1973 i mean it, it seems it seems better now like people are doing better Choose it. <laughs> All right, so we need to set up one engagement for Sabrina and the Brad. Is that his name? Yeah, Brad. All right, yes, you're going to get a makeover. He's hippie, so we're going to go to the organic farm. Um, oh, boy, do you guys just not have good schedules? Because this I am not a fan of at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, where else could we take them? Um, he likes the lake. So could we go to the lake? <laughs> Can go to the lake, so that's what we're going to do. So, do we have a gift from the lake? I feel like we do. No, it's from the beach. No, this is from the lake. Let's let's do this one. Vintage liked it. Maybe Hippie will like it too. Alright, do you have friends? Just Timmy, and I believe he didn't like the one thing you could do. That's right. Well, that's not going to work out. So, bye-bye now. Have a good day. Alrighty. And we have to help Timmy come out to Benedict. This is going to go great. He's going to love it. Alright, Benedict is approaching. Alright, what'd you wish to tell me? 
I have closet-already tendencies. I'm simply over the moon to hear that. How thrilling. We'll try and set you up with more friends in a little bit there, Timmy. And tomorrow we get to edify him and hopefully promote him all the way to VIP and get that achievement out of the way. Oh, Amy, 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 Amy. Yes. Let's invite you in. We'll do it tomorrow, because we've got plenty still going on today. To bug you about your inner type, we'll have you try and come out tomorrow as well. And then they'll both be out, and that's one less thing for us to worry about when they try and move on out of this place. Alright, thanks for reading biographies. What'd you think of it? Oh, she liked it! Oh, yay! <laughs> So now these guys are like double friends, but still, it works. It's fine. <laughs> this isn't enough, though, for you, Nyla. I thought one of your problems was friends. Is Nyla a VIP? I didn't think Nyla was a VIP. Okay. Um, is Nyla a VIP? Kimberly's happy. Where's Nyla? Yep, she's an alternative music star. So she's a VIP, so we've got to care about her many needs for friends. Alright, let's confront. You wanted to talk to me about something? What's the problem? It's intimacy. We're gonna do spicy things. Alright, we're gonna try and do this without cheating. Ooh, fabulous, right off the bat. That's very useful. Alright, good. Pretty good. Alright. No jackpot, but that's okay. We got seven days of them being more intimate. Hopefully we'll fix their problems. Right. Very understanding, but that's all for now. And we will hopefully... See, like, that's the issue, is I need to catch affairs, but I don't want to facilitate them, because that makes me feel bad. I'm like, that's not what I'm supposed to be doing with my time here with these people. I'm supposed to be helping them. That's my job. Alright, so let's set up some friendships for you. So, we've got Hippie, Hippie, and Hipster. Um... Let's see, we can probably get friends with the hippies. I don't know about the hipster. But let's just do that. Alright, spend time with friends. Let's do eating tofu. That seems like a hippie thing to do. And we can replace having something to eat, because you're going to eat tofu, right? They probably do not see it that way, but hey. What can I do? Um, I wanted to do watching musicals. I don't really know how that's going to go, but I never do with the hipsters. Because I don't, I don't know what to expect from them ever. Alright, so we've got plenty of friends going for Timmy right now. And that is all good in the neighborhood. And that's actually is all good in the neighborhood. People are headed off to bed, and our day is at an end. And so that is going to do it for this episode, you guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm a Purple Peggy Sis, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.